too good, was it? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good therapy. And uh, I advise every young man, get hold of a brass band instrument and then enjoy something that you could possibly uh, create for yourself and hobby that would be lasting a lifetime. Music was quite something. Mother was always on the keyboard. She told us whatever was needed. And uh, I feel that possibly I've got her to thank for a lot of my musical interest. Dad had a, had a little go on a violin, but he was quite set to catch the girls and he found that walking around with a violin case, with a violin in it, that didn't really work. So he sold it again and changed it for a walking stick so that he could hook the girls. I am a citizen of well, England, because I'm fully integrated with the people. But when it comes to show and the paperwork to prove that, I have a Dutch nationality. And I don't, I'm not going to lose that because I was born Dutch and I would like to die Dutch. There's nothing really to match the orchestras that we have here in England. You know, whether it's the LSO, or the Philharmonics, we can talk for hours about that. But it is music around me that I really enjoy. And consequently, you never finish learning enough about music. One of my most favorite pieces really is the Washoe Concerto. I've always enjoyed it myself when I come to visit my sister, whose piano is this, and she passed it on to me after she died, and heard her play this on this particular piano. And I feel good about it, and I'm very proud too. So much that we requested it when my eldest sister died, and at the cremation and the funeral, we uh, had requested that to be played. Was your concerto by Adinsel. Wonderful piece. Really enjoyable. It falls in there. Eh? Is it or not? It doesn't seem to click in. Damn it. Let's see what he does. I find a lovely little lady who is also interested in music as well as traveling. And I said, well, let's go to England first. And I found that the people were very, very charming and hospitable. Hello. Just walk in. Walk in? Yeah, just walk in, Pat. I've been singing all morning. Postman oh, Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, with a black no time, and white cat. I joined the local band and uh, stayed on Cornet, which I still am president of, City of Oxford Band. Janni's name was Van der Hoof, her maiden's name, and um, she went everywhere with me and she presented me with two beautiful daughters. One is Marilyn and the other is Elaine. They were really gifted, which I put down to my mother's side. And uh, they went to the Royal Academy, and of course, no marriage life is complete unless there are one or two children. Well, Marilyn got the two girls, and they're very clever and very beautiful. And Elaine got the three boys, so she beat her sister in a way. I always classed that both were equally beautiful as well as equally gifted with music.
much involved with organizing my own travels, almost worldwide, 12 times to America and Canada with a very highly selected brass band, excellent players, and I called it the Young Ambassadors Brass Band of Great Britain. Of course, that was a mouthful, and we soon shortened that to Yap. It's for time, it's still going, and it's had now 32 years of existence and uh, a total of 84 overseas concert tours have been notched up. So that's quite something. I don't think there's any band in the UK that could match that. You don't really lose that later on in life. As long as we have good health, you know, and we can still ma maintain a, a lively attitude. Van het concert des levens krijgt niemand een program. And it simply translated means of your life's concert on this planet, nobody will be provided with a program. And it's true. You never know what happens the next day. It's so sad to think that the nicest people go first. slogan would never leave me in my life. Amicitia per musicam, which simply means friendship through music. And this has been staying in my family forever, so far. <laughs>